Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, this is going to be like a different kind of video. Um, in the background, you can just see me slaying. Uh, this is live commentary, and it's just going to be like a little Slayer vlog. Um, and I'm joined today with my friend Tim. Hey Tim, you can say hello and introduce Yo, what's yourself. Up guys? Um, um, yeah, I'm Tim. I'm in this clan. Uh, yeah, Tim's uh, Tim's a friend of mine. Uh, we do loads of PVM together and stuff. He's in the clan. He's a lieutenant. Um, and we're just going to be going over some topics today. And I'm going to be slaying in the background. Uh, this is something new, so uh, give us your feedback in the comments. And give it a like if you want us to do more of these. Um, and I can invite different people to come on and speak about with um, topics. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to introduce the first topic, which is RuneScape 3. Um, any thoughts on that, Tim? Um, well, I have watched the, the BTS video from Jagger, and, from Jagger sorry. and I uh, I think it looks uh, really awesome. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be... It looks like the graphics are going to be a lot more clean. Yeah. Um, and also you can see much further in the distance, which will be kind of cool. It will add a bit of depth to the game. Um, yeah. And hopefully the game will run a bit smoother as well, because at the moment you need like a really you need kind of a fairly decent computer to also run the game uh, in yeah, like higher detail. Yeah, I am. Uh, well, I play in uh, low detail personally, but yeah. Um, so as for RuneScape Three, I think it it will make the game kind of easier to run and it'll look better. It will just look like a much cleaner game. Um, as well as that, they're also having the interface changes, where they're going to change the interfaces. Yeah, the, I, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, forward to that, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be really handy. Because, like, you can have your prayers and your inventory uh, open at the same time. And, yeah, you can have, like, a neat yeah. setup. Like, uh, yeah. they also said about presets. You can uh, preset them and change which one you're using. So you could have one for skilling, one for PVM. Um, one for just like questing. Yeah, and uh, I also saw in that fit that there were uh, more than five action bars. Yeah, yeah, that that would be really helpful as well because yeah, at the moment like, we don't really have enough. No, I'm I have uh, like four for melee, one for skilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like I don't use range of mage because like it's melee scope. Rivals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it will be really useful for PVM as well because you there are so many roles in PVM like with tanking and provoking and stuff like yeah. that. And it's just a pain if you want to change combat styles, you've got to like do a whole new bar and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, I think it's gonna be really awesome to get. It. Yeah, definitely. I think I think it will just look. Uh, it will make the game look like more advanced and stuff, um, yeah. and hopefully they'll be updating like because they're updating the interfaces. Because a while ago they changed to kind of like this blue color, everything's like blue, um, and I think may they're going to change the interfaces. Hopefully they can change the um, the trade interface because the trade interface and the bank interface, like the two most used interfaces, are still yeah. like old style RuneScape. They haven't changed at all. Yeah, but if you play in a uh, fixed and you open your bank, you can't see your PMs. Yeah. So I, th I it think would that'd be nice be if they change too. Yeah. I I I wonder if they're gonna keep fixed screen though, because like you can move around your interfaces so much. Like I I wonder if they're gonna keep fixed screen. Do you yeah. think they will? Um. Yeah, I think they probably will because you know you know there are gonna be some people like when they when the EOC just started, but. Started, there were a lot of uh, haters on the EOC, and you, you just yeah. know there's gonna be uh, people who want to fix screen, so I think they uh, they are gonna keep it. Yeah, so so as for kind of RuneScape 3, it's kind of like a good thing for the game, you think, yeah? Yeah, I think definitely. So, anyways, our second topic was um, is RuneScape becoming too easy and why? Um, and this is kind of like a topic that you can talk about forever, really, because there are just so many sides to it. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Like, yeah, it's it's uh, really uh, like you have to ride goals and dead to uh, and stuff. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, like for bosses, it's good, but like I am uh, slaying with Drygors at the moment and Bendos, and I can uh, stay forever at this. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like. Uh, and to also... be honest, yeah. If I go to a uh, Kelfet King or something, I can stay there very long too, like for hours on uh, 
Yeah, exactly. Also, um, with skilling as well, like, if you go and you play RuneScape 2007, it's like 100k XP is, like, pretty much one of the max XP per hour you can get. And yeah. in EOC, there are, like, maybe one, there's maybe one or two skills that are under, that are, like, yeah, 100k agil- XP. Yeah, agility and runecrafting and for the rest is, like... Yeah, and everybody, it- when, when they think of agility and runecrafting, they think, oh, this is going to take forever when... Like in RuneScape, in like RS07, it's <clears throat> it's gonna be like that's gonna be really fast. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a bit fast, but like it's nice to have some skills fast because like yeah. if if everything was like 60k an hour, I think uh, yeah, I, that would be kind I of would, annoying. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Also, I think. It is kind of, in in a sense, it is too easy. Like, I think if you can go onto the RuneScape wiki and see how many people there are that are maxed, and I think I went on the other day and there were like 5.3k max players. Now, that's a lot of people to have fully completed the game. Like, yeah. there, there really shouldn't really be that many. So I think also when the new skill comes out, there are going to be a lot less. And I think Max Cape will probably be seen as quite a bit more prestigious, just as all of the people that have quit and got a Max Cape and just don't play anymore will be gone as well. Yeah, but like, um, the only hard thing in the in the game, which took really a lot of time, was uh, the trimmed completion escape. Yeah. But, uh, right. No much people. Uh, not much people had that. Exactly. But now they also made the uh, made the clan, clan. Uh, uh, sorry, castle wars. Uh, Easier. Yeah. Which kind of so, sucks as well. Yeah, they're making like everything easier, and it's kind of. Yeah, exactly. Kind of a bit overpowered. Yeah, they should kind of think about like the impact yeah. that it has as well. Um, and as we were saying before, like bossing, you can go to Calfight King and you could solo it if it wasn't for the green. And you can like duo it. We can probably duo for like 10, 15 kills. Yeah, probably You only more use like good. one food to kill. And Drygors yeah. just make it so easy. Yeah, and then you have to drop a really common shark drop. Exactly, which makes and it the... even easier. Yeah, and the brews at next, and the food from the minions at Gold Wars. Exactly, so it's kind of like, I think in a, in a sense it is becoming really easy, but then again, quite yeah. a lot of people in this game are like really lazy, and they still think that it's like really slow. Yeah, but, <clears throat> yeah, I know. So, like, yeah. I think uh, that it's a bit too easy now, but like... Yeah, exactly. I think uh, hopefully at one point, well, if they keep introducing new skills, I don't know how many more new they'll have because they're kind of like running out of ideas because Dungeoneering yeah. wasn't really exactly a skill. It was kind of more like a mini game that leveled you up. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I hope the new skills will be good. Um, And bringing us on to the third topic, uh, the new skills that are coming out. Um, Any uh, thoughts on those? <clears throat> I uh, I haven't really checked into those to be honest, but like I know there's like one buyable and one. Uh, yeah, sorry, forgot the name of it. One but... gathering and one yeah, buyable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was reading. Well, a friend of mine was telling me um on the forums that apparently they um around the forums it's going around that it's going to be archaeology and excavation. Now I'm not sure if that's kind of out of date or if they've they haven't confirmed it or anything, but I'm not too sure if um they've like found out that it's not going to be that but that's kind of what i've been told now if it is i think those would be pretty cool but i'm not sure how they'd implement that yeah yeah i i uh i always like new skills to be honest in the game because like new content is nice and yeah so uh, um also it it means like it will also reduce the number of max capers and it'll be quite a long time until yeah people actually have a max cape yeah or the or the skill cape in that skill Exactly. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think also, well, it's going to hit the G kind of hard when it comes out, though. So I think maybe it'd be a good idea if Jagex were to release the gathering skill first, uh, wait for a bit, and then release the Bible, or if they release it yeah, at the same time. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. In all, I think yeah. it'll be kind of good for the game because coming back on Wise RuneScape so easy. Um, I think these skills will be kind of fast to train, though, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, but like if you look at the last couple of skills, like Dungeoneering, that's really a lot of XP an hour. Yeah, summoning four hundred K or four hundred K XP an hour or something like that. Yeah, and summoning, that's a lot of XP. Yeah, Hunter, once you got the charms. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, but like now they bring in charm collector and stuff. So yeah, devalue <laughs> the skill even more. Yeah, and hunter. Well, that's a bit of a. <laughs> that's not that fast, but like. If you do, I think if you do draconic jadinkos, it's like two fifty k xp an hour, two hundred k xp yeah. an hour. And then they also uh, construction is also fairly new. Oh and yeah, construction is kind of new skills as well. Too. Mm. But, like if you, these are the four uh, four skills they brought in, like the newest yep. four skills. Yeah. And they are all really fast, so. Exactly, and since EOC came out, like skilling's kind of become a bit more easy now that you can drop stuff so easily and yeah. um, all that kind of stuff. So, as well. Also, but, combat is like so easy. In the background, you can see me now killing Miffle dragons. Like, it's not really that hard to kill them at all, to be honest. Like, I I hardly even use lose HP, and when I do, I just make it back straight away. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, like the only skill, uh, which is not really uh, made with sorry, uh, which they not made easier already is um. Agility. Yeah, that's kind of a skill that yeah. they haven't updated to make really that easy. But then again, they yeah, did take out the Gillen or Games thing, which was like you could get like two mil XP throughout the summer. Yeah, but they, I believe they said in a bit that they were going to update the uh, agility. Yeah. Just as they did with uh, rune, rune crafting, that was a really hard skill. They made that easy. Yeah, rune crafting was ridiculously hard though. That was like thirty yeah. k xp an hour. I think it was a few. You needed to do it for like two or three months for ninety nine. Yeah, and it's so click intensive. <clears throat> exactly. So, um, anyways, Tim, do you have anything else really to add, um, to any of the any of the um topics? Uh. No, not really. <laughs> All right. Um. So this has kind of been it's been fairly short, but it's kind of like a a new series coming out. So um. I guess we'll wait, guys. So, um. Put down your feedback in the comments of what you thought of the vid, um. And stuff like that. So that's that's pretty much it. Anything else to say, Tim? Um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see. You. All right. See you guys.